Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Burke. I'm a singer, songwriter, and vocal coach. Okay, it's always so awkward at the beginning. Got that out of the way. Anyway, today we are going to react to Jungkook's new song, you requested this like crazy. And before we do, if you have not taken my free 15 minute singing lesson on Singer yet, you should definitely check that out. It's my site. The link is down in the YouTube description. But the thing that you have to do is you have to record your voice before it and then record after the lesson. So then go through that lesson. I'm gonna make you do like wacky things, but I'm telling you it works. So then record the same little like 15 second phrase. And then when you compare the two, that's when you will actually know if you've improved or not. Otherwise, you won't really be able to know when you're just singing. So record a little phrase, give my 15 minute lesson a try and let me know how that goes for you. And then of course, there's a ton more information on the site on how we can actually work together and I can help you develop an amazing voice. Honestly, it's just not nearly as much fun or productive going about it alone. It's so much better when you have somebody like me who's been through the whole process of learning to sing. I've had to spend a lot of money to take from some of the best mentors, vocal coaches, other programs. I have tried it all. And so I'll be able to answer any kind of question that you have, guide you through the whole thing. So anyway, all the information is on the site too. I made sure that it's super transparent. I even added more videos on an FAQ page uh, for those that had like some questions. Just because like I want I anything I do with you, I want it to be 100% transparent. I don't want to be like those people running ads before these videos. Okay, I want it to be transparent. So anyway, all the information is down in the description below. Are you ready? Let's do this. All right, JK, what you got? Oh! That little lo-fi instrumentation in the beginning. With the high end that they put on his vocals, they basically cut all the low end off. Sounded like even possibly cut all the high end off. I'm not listening in headphones. They might just have the mid range up there. Listen to the precision as he transitions from his head voice back into his mid range. Beautiful. This is my kind of music. I'm getting way too excited. Way too excited. Is it okay? I can be this excited, right? I can be this excited. I haven't even had that much caffeine. Jeez. Just really pay attention to the end of the phrase where he really breaths out the vocal and adds just a beautiful, consistent vibrato. Listen to that. Oh, listen to that harmony. Interesting, that wouldn't have been the harmony that I would have thought. Ah, I love that slide up. Ah. Wow. Wow, this is this is one of my favorite vocal performances from him. I'm not just saying that. The control that he is showing off in that upper register, keeping that beautiful breathy tone. You got to realize again, men, the vocal folds are just thicker. It's hard to transition between those head voice to the mixed voice back into like a lower mid-range note. It, it just is difficult, especially to keep a breathy tone. Whew. Ah. Nice transition. Hmm. The way that he will just transition from those head voice notes, those See how he makes it back down to the mid range without a ah, without that kind of like break there.
I mean, that is just too smooth. That transition going up, that's too smooth. I teach a lot of people and I'm trying to teach people to have that kind of beautiful tone up there because it's so natural for us to want to squeak. When I was first learning to sing, I would try to sing those head voice notes. Ah, ah, I'd like squeak it out. I'd be squeaking and half the time I'd be cracking. Half the time I could, I would, I would try to go for a note and I'd be like, I hope it's there. I hope it's there. And sometimes it'd be like, you know, that like voice crack that, uh, uh, uh. Guys, you know what I'm talking about, and girls too, but no, yeah, that totally, uh, totally would happen to me. But again, with the right exercises, you can train this, but I just have to say that he has that vocal tone up in the head voice. It's awesome, it's great to hear, I, I, I'm super excited. I love listening to um, people who are doing it right. Uh. just love the melody and again i love how we just listen to the release of breath on the end of the phrase that is his signature to me oh. Oh. oh those backups i heard some backups i think going like with like a harmony on it those are my favorite. That's my favorite part, honestly, about creating a song, writing songs, recording songs, is those little ooh backups. If you li listen to any of my music too, you will hear them. I'm so glad that he's doing that. That's what just fills out the song and it just makes it, it just gives it that extra, um, it gives a song that X factor. And many times people aren't even consciously aware that they're hearing all these different backups. But if you start to really pay attention to songs, if you listen to headphones, and listen into different, like what's going on in your left ear, what's going on in your right ear, because the producers will pan these different sounds. So many times those oohs are likely going in the left and the right ear, and then he's got his lead vocal just going right down the center. Um, I, I need to explain that better if, I'm, if you're really gonna understand it with producing, that take too long, just believe me. Mm. You gotta love this track. And then bringing it back. You know, many people don't realize that a lot of that control, his vocal stability, that kind of translates to you, um, the control that he has over his range, a lot of that's actually coming from the way that he breathes and the way that he releases airflow. Classic breath on the end. Gotta love it. You know I'm always honest with you. I think that's one of my favorite vocal performances that I have heard from him, personally. At least in a song. That's just my kind of music. I love the kind of smooth, soulful vocals. Soft though, breathy. He brought. He kind of leaned in at times though too. I think at the end he added a lot more um, power in, in, into his head voice, really leaned into the chords there. I also loved how they added those background oohs. For anyone who's recording music, don't forget the BGVs, the background vocals, and take your time with it. Really take the time to find background melodies that support your lead vocal, that don't distract from the lead vocal, but just add just that right little... The only way I can describe it is an X factor. They add like an X factor. You've got to have them. So for anybody recording music, don't forget the BGVs. Don't be sleeping on the BGVs, okay? <laughs> that you enjoyed this, and if you haven't taken my free lesson on Singer, you should definitely go do that right now. You have to click the link down in the description. I don't know why I kind of got close. I was thinking about getting up in your face to do it, and I was like, nah, it's weird, don't do it. But now it's just weird because I should have just either done it or not done it. I digress. Anyway, this is why at the end, you should just go take the free lesson because I just get super weird and awkward and anyway that free lesson if you record your voice before and then you go through it and you like that transition there and then you um we've been just non-stop transitions throughout this video um from jungkook's head voice to mid voice to my somehow making an awkward moment tying back into my free lesson on singer anyway this i'm just non-stop just trails that i'm following um if you record your voice before the free lesson and then you go through it record your voice after, that's when you'll really hear an improvement. If you don't record your voice, 
you won't really be able to tell because while you're doing the singing, you're not going to really be able to judge yourself to see like, have you improved? And so when you record yourself before the lesson, record yourself after with your phone, that's when you can actually compare the two and decide, okay, did I improve? Did I not improve? And I promise you, you will improve. And then I would love to actually meet you on the inside of Singer. I have all the information on the site. You can check out the FAQ page. You can check out some reviews. If you want to learn how to sing, that will show you exactly how to sing. You can see everything that you get. You can see all the lessons. It's a bunch of content that I created. You can see all of them on the site. Go check them out. Check out the FAQ page. Again, I go over everything. I'm completely transparent because I always say like the best product, there's nothing to hide. You know, I feel like in today's landscape, everyone's trying to like run these ads and do this, this and that. And it feels so hidden and so like scammy and weird. And that's exactly what Singer is not. And if you go check out the website, you'll see 100% transparency because again, the best product, the people's choice, there's nothing to hide. And that's what Singer is. So um, yeah, whenever you have a chance, if you want to learn to sing, again, you got to check it out. Link is down in the description. All right. Tons of love. I hope that you are well during this time. It's an insane time we're living in. But tons of love as always. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.